Israel Adesanya is one of the greatest pound-for-pound -pound fighters to have ever stepped into the octagon. And not only is the guy a beast, but he's also just very funny and likable. Yeah, we like Izzy over here, but surprisingly, there are a lot of things about the champ that people just aren't aware of, including us. He's a character for sure, and he's been doing some very interesting things lately. Let's get into it, guys. First up, he has had a roller coaster of a year. We know the champ, well, ex-champ now, must be exhausted after the year he's had. Izzy fought three times in 2022, guys. Three. That's an insane amount for a regular fighter, let alone the literal champ. This man is the most active champion we've ever seen in the UFC, and that's why we love him. He's constantly putting himself and his title at risk. What's more, everything looked like it was going great. Honestly, he beat Whitaker in February and the Cannoneer in July. These aren't pushovers, guys. They're top level fighters. We don't know about Cannoneer. He's good for sure, but Whitaker definitely would have been the middleweight champ if it hadn't been for Adesanya. He beat guys of this caliber. So when he came up against Bejera in November, we were all rooting for our guy. Yeah, it didn't go so well. It was a great fight, don't get us wrong, but we got a repeat of Usman versus Leon, and the champ got knocked out in the last round after dominating the whole time. Needless to say, it wasn't great for Izzy. But hey, the man is finally no longer the champ after five title defenses, and you'd be right to think he's taking a long-deserved break. Next up, Izzy's vacation to French Polynesia. The ex-champ was humble in defeat, just as he always was in victory. You just can't hate him. Even though he lost, he didn't hang his head in defeat or start coming apart at the seams like some people in the MMA world were afraid of. Instead, the legend is off on a vacation. We love a good self-care story. Adesanya has talked about his love for French Polynesia before, and so, after such a hectic year, where do you think the fighter is headed? That's right, straight to Tahiti. If you were worried, don't be. Izzy is having the time of his life, chilling with Raimana Van Bastele, who, fun fact, Cindy Crawford described as a human aphrodisiac. Yeah, our man's out there partying with this Polynesian hunk. Bastolet teaches surfing. And if you were one of us who never imagined we'd get to see a UFC champ riding waves and chilling on a surfboard, well, you're in for a fun ride. Following up, the fighter shows off his surfing. Being in Tahiti with the Raimana Van Bastolet, yeah, you best believe our guy wasn't about to let this chance go. Like anyone would, Izzy got his hands on a surfboard and got in the water. We hope you're as excited about this as we were, because it's not every day you get to see a fighter of his caliber let loose like this. Both of them put up social media posts, showing off the ex-champ skills on the board. You won't be surprised to know the legendary fighter was a quick learner and was riding the small waves Raymana was teaching him on, no problem. We got to see glimpses of his legendary footwork and balance as he stood up on that board. And and impressed even the pro surfer. A guy as hardworking as this, just having fun, we love to see it. We can expect a refreshed and energized style bender in the octagon after this. If you're surprised by the way the champ lives his life and enjoys himself, well, you'll be even more surprised to learn about some cool facts about him that most people aren't aware of. Let's get to know this incredible fighter a little better. First up, Adesanya got a late start to the fight game. With a guy as talented as this, you'd expect he's been fighting ever since he was a child, right? Well, so did we, but apparently, he didn't start kickboxing properly till he was 18. Yeah, that's late, guys, but hey, it's amazing because he was made for the fight game. The man started, and two years later, he was already boasting an amateur kickboxing record of 32-0. That's amazing, guys. Even though he started so late, he was just a prodigy, and we're glad he discovered Discovered his talents. After all, if he hadn't, we wouldn't have known the great style bender. Next up, he chose kickboxing because of a movie. Now, you might be wondering why Izzy decided to pick kickboxing out of all the combat sports he could have gone into. And the reason is much more interesting than you might think. We all know this 
man's a lovable geek. He loves anime, manga, and animated movies in general, and routinely makes references to them. Most of the time it's cool, like when he did the Rock Lee stance in front of Silva. Chills. Other times, not so much. Yeah, we won't be forgetting that Elsa reference anytime soon. Our brains are still recovering from the cringe. Anyway, for a guy so into movies and anime, you won't be surprised to know he got into kickboxing because of a martial arts movie he saw, a Thai film called Ong Bak. We respect your commitment, man, for making such a huge life decision based on one of your favorite movies. Following up, he was a pro boxer as well. Again, this is probably surprising because we all know him for his kickboxing and MMA. But yeah, our guy tried his hand at boxing too. Honestly, one guy can't be good at everything, right? MMA, kickboxing, and now maybe even surfing? He's got to struggle somewhere, right? Yeah, well, initially it seemed like that somewhere was going to be in the boxing ring. Our man's debut ended in a loss, but hey, we know the man can take a hit and walk it off. And that's just what he did. The absolute crazy beast went on to win his next five bouts, and that too against proven guys. He fought Brian Minto, a guy so experienced he had faced world champions before. And guess what? This wasn't the guy Izzy lost to. The man's a true jack of all trades. Next thing we know, he'll be showing off his skills with cooking. Or, you know, something else unexpected. Coming up, the MMA legend was bullied as a child. We always love a comeback kid. Adesanya, like many other UFC legends, was bullied as a child. And that sucks, but hey, look where he is now. The guy is one of the baddest men on the planet. You best believe those bullies are shaking in their boots now. For real though, as lovable as Izzy is, they're probably fans of his by now. He talked about his motivations and things he thinks of now as an adult, and told us the genuinely sad story of how he was bullied for how he looked. The man is genuinely a specimen. Yeah, he's pretty, but his bullies didn't think so, unfortunately. He moved to New Zealand as a child from Nigeria, and we all know how vicious children can be. You can imagine how hard it must have been for young Israel. He seems like he's doing fine now, but we're sure in those tense moments in the octagon, this past is one of the places the fighter draws power from. Now for his past before fighting. He moved to New Zealand from Nigeria when he was a boy, and it might surprise you to know, well, maybe not, since we talked about it before, that fighting was never something he saw in his future. The future brawler, who would go on to be known for beating men to a pulp, was always very passionate about something else as a child. Dancing. Surprised? Well, think about it. The fluid movements, the quick transitions, even the judgment of distance. These are all essential to dancing, and we've seen the style bender display them all. Except we didn't see it all on the dance floor. No, we saw him display these skills as he bobbed and weaved, and moved in and out of his opponent's range to deliver well-timed, deadly strikes. His background in dance may well be the reason for what he's known for best. His unmatched quick footwork, let him stand with, trade blows with, and even defeat the great Anderson Silva. Honestly, we think our boy was destined for the octagon. He was learning how to move with top level fighters before he ever even considered mixed martial arts or kickboxing as an option. Finally, Izzy has been accused of using PEDs. It's true guys, one of the fighters in the UFC, known for being honorable and just a stand-up guy was accused on multiple occasions of using PEDs. The reason is very unsurprisingly gynecomastia. Yeah, our man has very clear gyno. Even to this day, it's undeniable. Does this mean he's been on the juice though? Not at all guys, this occurs naturally in a lot of people, and Izzy has talked about it as being one of his insecurities. The problem though is that he hasn't always had it. 
so we were all confused. Don't worry though guys, the style bender has explained. And it's a funny one, doing a little bit of recreational smoking that may have caused the ex-champ to develop gyno. Very wacky and in character for our man. That's a wrap for this one guys. Did you learn something new about Israel Adesanya in this video? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. See you guys in the next one.